Alright nerds, so today we are watching what I think is our last video in this topic. Um, and that's on tides, and tides are cool. So what are tides? Tides are the, the rise and fall of the waters, the coastlines, and lakes, they do it too, but not as much as the ocean, because there's not as much water. Um, so as the tide comes in, the level of the water on the beach rises, and the tide goes out, it goes down. So all bodies of water have it, but it's most noticeable in the ocean. So gravity is that invisible force of attraction between two objects, and that's what causes it. Um, so which celestial object is attracted to the Earth? What, celestial means in space, obviously. That's the moon. Um, and which celestial object is the Earth attracted to? That's the sun. We're also attracted to the moon, but the sun's much, much larger. So the effect of the moon on Earth. Uh, moon's gravity pulls on the Earth, but because the Earth generally is solid, it doesn't seem to move much towards it, except we're mostly covered in water. And that has a massive effect. So, so the liquid, which is able to move, remember from our particles, water can move and take shapes of things. The water moves towards the moon. Now, it doesn't leave, but it, it moves towards the moon. And this is your tides. So tides, uh, why and how it does it is quite complex. We're not going to focus on that too much. And we're going to simplify it. Okay, so basically the moon is here. And it pulls the water towards it as the tide rises. So, here we go. High tides are when the water reaches its highest point. Low tides, like we see here, are when water reaches its lowest points. Um, so, nothing on the Earth but water. Um, so we're looking at the Earth from the North Pole. Uh, let's add a moon. Okay. So, the moon pulls on water and that creates a bulge. Obviously, the bulge is, is not as big as this, but it's just to show effect. Um, but because the Earth is spinning, it evens out, and you get two bulges, which is pretty cool. Um, you, later on, you'll do some physics and explain this, but not this year. Don't stress. So the bulge of the Earth, bulge of water, follows the moon around, which is pretty cool. So as the moon spins, the the bulge goes with it. All right, that's pretty cool. That's pretty straightforward. Um, so it takes twenty eight days. Therefore, your Tide cycle occurs in 28 days. Um, it, basically, it's predictable. Okay, We can see where it's going to happen. We know where it's going to happen. In actual fact, we can predict the tides to the minute. All right. So there's more than just the revolution of the moon because the Earth itself is rotating. So the Earth, the moon spins around the Earth. That's cool. But the Earth itself is rotating. So let's put a person on the equator. That's the line that goes around the middle. Um, so we're still looking for the North Pole, so don't stress. So basically, the Earth's spinning, and this person will rotate through the tide twice a day. Okay, so he's got two low tides, two high tides every day. That's pretty cool. So 24 hours, he's spinning around. Um, this moon's still moving around, but it takes 28 days. So every day, this happens. So, so the Every day this happens, and yeah, so he goes through it twice a day. So this is what it really looks like. So he's still spinning around, he's starting to cut sick, and that's pretty awesome. Like the moon's break dancing. All right, so then we get these two other types. We've got the spring tide. Here is our low tide, and here is our high tide. And you see that you've got both the sun and the moon pulling the water out. So that's our largest tide. So spring tides are the, are the largest tides. And they occur during the full moon and new moon. Um, all right. Then you've got the neap tides, which is a very cute name. And these are our lowest high tides. So you, we, we sometimes call the spring tide the king tide. Um, it only happens a couple times a year. So, so you've got the king tide and the spring tide. Uh, sorry, and the neap tides. Now, basically, when the sun and the moon are perpendicular, so which means like that at right angles, um, the variation, like so, the, the difference in high tide and low tide is not as great. All right, go back over it if it didn't make sense. Um, do some drawings in your notes, and yeah, I'll see you in class. Bring questions.